how to make a mask that will make your skin look really glowy and healthy. This is good for people who feel like their skin is looking kind of dull lately or if you happen to get a little bit more tan this summer than you had hoped. You can use a lot of these ingredients on their own as a mask, but what I did in today's video is I combined them all into one mask to make one ultra booster of of a skin glowing, skin glowing, skin glowingness, glowing skin mask. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. So I didn't realize that the poster in my background would look like a green screen, so let's just uh, try to ignore that. You'll need some almonds. Vitamin B3 in almonds lightens unwanted skin pigmentation. Next, you'll need some oatmeal, which exfoliates the skin to get rid of any dead skin cells. <laughs> Add your oatmeal and almonds to a coffee grinder or food processor. Grind it up to a nice powdery consistency like this. Now take some turmeric. Turmeric repairs skin damage and reduces skin discoloration. I'm kind of just eyeballing the amounts to all of this, there's no specific amount. Honey softens and soothes the skin while also lightening any uneven pigmentation. Go ahead and add, I'd say about two to three heaping tablespoons of honey. Finally, finish off with extra virgin coconut oil, which will deeply moisturize the skin and make you look beautiful. Now just mix it all up and transfer it to some kind of a container. I'm using an airtight mason jar. This will be good for one week outside of the fridge and two weeks in the fridge. Shake it all up, then use a cotton pad to apply the mask. I would recommend doing this mask for 30 minutes every other day. You should notice a difference anywhere from two weeks to a month. My face surprisingly smells amazing right now. It smells like a giant cookie. Oatmeal? Oatmeal raisin. That's kind of what it's, that's exactly what it is. There's oatmeal on my face. How much longer must I wait for this? Do I even need to wait? My skin isn't gonna be that much brighter. Brighter. Ooh, ah, uh, cute. It looks like I'm pretty hungry. Oh gosh, we're gonna wash our face, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, okay? This, this looks treacherous, just treacherous. Fingernails, oh, revolting. Start filming. Once your weight is over, go ahead and rinse with hot water and some soap. Followed by rinsing with cold water to help close your skin pores. Or if you're really brave, then I would recommend using an ice cube. <laughs> Oh god, it's so cold. And as always guys, make sure to drink plenty of water for a beautiful, bright skin. <sighs> Cheers. How does one even demonstrate this? How does one de demonstrate the glowiness of my face? Is my face glowing yet? I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys have any other tips on how to make your skin look glowy, let me know in the comments below. What do you do to make your skin look like really healthy and glowy? I know one of the ingredients that people really like to add to their skin um, kind of like brightening masks is lemon. But a lot of, there's a lot of controversy about adding lemon to your recipe. People say that it kind of damages your skin. You can use lemon if you'd like, but I kind of decided to just leave that out. Several videos ago, some of you shared with me that one of your struggles is adjusting back to the seven hour school schedule. Something I would recommend, and this may not seem like the easiest thing to do, is to wake up even earlier than you initially thought. So instead of waking up, say, an hour early just so you can shower and get ready and everything, I would recommend waking up two hours early. I know it sounds really crazy, but when you have two hours, can you imagine how much more you can do? That way you kind of have a sense of normalcy when you wake up versus just rushing to get ready to go to school. It will really make a huge difference in how you feel about school later in the day because you'll feel like you started off kind of slow, you know, you took it kind of easy in the morning. Please take a moment to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Snapchat, and like me on Facebook, all under the same username, Sophie Styled. That way we can get to know each other and we kind of share our recreations. Um, once again, if you guys make any of my DIYs, please share with me on social media using the hashtag DIYWithSophie. Keep smiling.